some parametric equations like this, x equals cos t, y equals 3 sine t, are of particular interest. Um, if I had to go from parametric equations like these to a Cartesian form, then the easiest way to do it is to rewrite uh, the cos t as x, which it already is, that's fine, but the second equation can be reordered to get sine t is y over 3. Now, an equation that I know in, that includes sine and cosine is sine squared plus cos squared is 1, the trig identity. So, if I replace the sine squared with y over 3 squared, and the cos squared with x squared, I now have a Cartesian equation. It's very similar to a circle. So y squared over 9 plus x squared equals 1. But what does this look like? So when x is 0, we get y squared over 9 is 1, so y squared has to be 9. So y is plus or minus 3. So when x is 0, we have plus or minus 3. And when y is 0, we have x is plus or minus 1. And so actually what you have here is an ellipse. Not a circle, but an ellipse. So it's a circle that has been stretched, if you like. Um, so this is telling me this is an ellipse um, where it has been, it's going through uh, 1 and minus 1 on the x-axis and minus 3 and 3 in the y-axis. And that's being identified by the coefficient of the cosine and sine that I'm given. So, as you can see, um, Cartesian, uh, parametric equations can be used in a, to simplify uh, the concept of things like circles and ellipses. Um, but they're quite easy to put straight in to the sine squared plus cos squared as one trig identity, and then to get a Cartesian, and then much easier to sketch it to see exactly what it is. Okay.